Hey guys, so in this video we're going to start talking about work as well as how to calculate that quantity. Let's check it out. So the, the idea is that when you push against the box on a smooth surface, so let's draw this as a smooth surface, there's no friction. I can say mu equals zero. Um, if you push it, let's say this way, the box starts to move, right? There's no resistance, so if you push it, it has to start moving. F equals ma, you get an acceleration, it starts accelerating, it moves. Since it begins to move, it now has a V, and if it has a V, it gains kinetic energy, okay? And if you remember, kinetic energy is half mv squared. So if I have a V, I have a kinetic energy. Well, where does that energy come from? That energy comes from, from you, from your push, okay? From F over here. So that energy comes from you. You ate some food, and the energy ultimately comes from the sun, right? The sun uh, gives energy to the plant, the cow eats the plant, and you eat the cow, um, and then you push this box, right? Very simplistic, but that's basically the idea. Um, this transfer of energy, you transferred your stored energy into the box, um, into the form of kinetic energy. This transfer of energy from you to the box is called work. Okay, so in physics, that's what work means. And we say that you do work on the box, okay? So doing work on an object is transferring energy into that object, okay? The amount of work that a force does on an object is the amount of energy that it gives to that object or takes away from that object. So if you push a box and you make it faster, you're giving it energy, and therefore we're gonna say, we'll talk more about this later, but we're gonna say you do positive work. If a box is moving and you push on it so that it slows down, you're stealing kinetic energy from that box. So you're taking uh, energy away from the box, so you do negative work. We'll talk more about positive and negative work later, but I want you to understand that the idea of work is that work is energy in transfer. It's you transferring energy, okay? To calculate work, the equation for the work done by a constant force, this only works for constant forces, can be calculated using this equation, okay? I'm gonna give you sort of the fancy definition and then the useful one. So it's force, which is a vector, um, the magnitude of force um, times the magnitude of displacement, but these guys are supposed to be parallel to each other. Okay, so that means that they're supposed to be parallel to each other. And the um, other less fancy version of this would be um, F delta X cosine of theta. If they're not parallel to each other, then you would do this. F delta X cosine of theta, where theta, I'll write this here in a second, where theta is the angle between F and delta X. F and delta X. These two are vectors, so you can draw two little arrows and then it's just the angle between them. One way that I like to write this equation is I put a little arrow here to remind me that theta is the angle between the two guys that are in the equation hanging out next to theta. Um, now, this is a lot of lines and arrows everywhere. So the simplest, the simpler version of this will be F D cosine of theta, okay? Now, that being said, remember, this was originally absolute value. So when you plug these, make sure that F is positive and D is positive, okay? Even if you're moving to the left or if the force is to the left, it doesn't matter, okay? These guys will always be positive and this is the angle, cool? Now, last point here is since work is energy transferred, work is just transfer of energy, the unit of work is the same as the unit of energy, joules, okay? Let's do some problems real quick. I'll do one and I want you guys to do one. So a two kilogram box is pulled horizontally by a three Newton force. Let's do that real quick. Two kilogram box is pulled horizontally by a force of three, uh, three Newtons for five meters, that's my distance. So I did this for a distance of five meters. So the idea is I pull and then when I, once the box has covered five meters, I just let it go, right? I wanna know what is the work done by this force, okay? So works are done by forces. The work done by a force F is right here, FD cosine of theta, okay? 
Now, F and D are pretty straightforward. The force is 3, D is 5. But every time you get to theta, I need you to slow down and take this e take it easy here and be careful because there's some questions that are going to be tricky. Remember, it's the angle between these two guys. Force is this way. Displacement is this way. Notice how they're parallel to each other. They go in the same direction. The angle when two things are parallel to each other is 0 degrees. So this is cosine of 0. And the cosine of 0, you plug into the calculator and you see that it's 1. So the final answer here is just 3 times 5 times 1, or 15 joules. Okay? 15 joules. That's your work. All right, so now I want you to try the second problem. It's in a vertical axis, but I think you can figure this out. Let's give this a shot.